Hey guys, this is the Blue Biker. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is retention straps on your helmet and which one should you choose. So let's get started. A lot of us, whenever we go out to buy a new helmet, we are flooded with options. You have everything from like basic ones from XS and XOR to SMKs and MTs and then all the way up to AGVs and RIs. Choosing the type of helmet for you is very easy, right? If you ride a sport bike, you would go for a race helmet. If you are a tourer, you would you would go for a touring helmet. If you are an off-road rider, you will go for an MX helmet. Where it gets confusing for some bikers is choosing the retention strap. The retention strap is basically what holds the helmet in place when you are flying through air through the air, so the helmet does not fly off. It sits over here, and if the helmet tries to come off your face, it just push like. It just holds the helmet over here. Kind of gave myself a back sprain over there, pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty easy, right? Now, there are two types of retention straps that are common in helmets. One is the mic micrometric strap, which I'll put an overlay if I can. The second one is a double D ring. What is the difference between the two? Let's find out. But before we start, if you are referring to any kind of those cheapster, uh, straps that you find on I don't call them helmets. They are basically caps plastic caps Those are not retention straps. They are not tested. You pull them hard enough. They'll come off No, we are talking. I am specifically talking about EC certified retention straps, which are one micrometrics two double D rings Fortunately, I'm stupid enough to spend a lot of money on my helmet. So I have both kinds of re retention straps on me right now so I can show it to you. The first one, Scorpion XO490. I love this helmet, really comfortable. This is a more touring spec helmet. So it's big, it's heavy. It has all the features of a touring helmet and it has a micrometric. I will show you what a micrometric looks like. So hold the helmet over here. See this, this is a micrometric strap. Okay, it's very easy to put on. That's it, it's on. Now, no matter how hard you pull this, it's not going to come off. When you want to release the strap, just pull this and it comes off. Very easy, right? Even if you wear the helmet, it's pretty simple. I'll show it to you guys. So, helmet. Helmet on. Find the strap. Find the hole. Put it in. It's not about bikes. You know that. Yeah, it's, it's there now. It sits flush with my neck. And when I want to take it off, pull this and it's off. It barely takes two seconds, which is why micrometrics are so popular. This is the biggest advantage of a micrometric retention strap. It's just easy to use. Okay. Whether you are a noob, whether you are an experienced rider, whether you have your gloves on, whether you don't have your gloves on, it will not take you more than three seconds to put them, put it on and take it off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So you might be wondering, if it's so easy, then it must not be safe. No, that's not the case. Micrometrics are as safe as double D rings. Again, remember, I'm basing all of this on EC standards and EC testing. So both the straps like micrometrics and double D rings are tested by EC. How the test happens? Well, whenever you send a helmet for testing, they do all kinds of tests on it depending on whether it is being certified for EC 22.05 or 22.06. If you want a video about 22.06, let me know. I'll post one video. Now, if your helmet is EC certified, the micrometric strap is also tested for its durability and strength. So you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, it's not going to break off. It's easy and it's just as safe as a double D ring. But wait, what's a double D ring? Let's get into it. For this, we have my MT Revenge 2. I made a review on this. You can check it out. I'll put a link here or here. I don't know how YouTube works still. So a double D ring is like this. Yep. Oh, wait. Is like this. Now, this is a little difficult to get on. I'll show it to you guys. I'm not sure if I can hold it like this and put it on. But what you basically do is Put on the helmet. Oh, wow. This is really tight. I mean, it's not tight. It's the perfect size for me. That's how tight a helmet is supposed to be. So, I'll just come a little ahead. 
you take the longest strap you put it through both the rings you pull it you tighten it then you separate the two rings pull this over and then under that's it now this sits flush against my neck just like the micrometric but as you saw it took me a while to get it on and taking it off is also kind of tricky like you have to like you know first like somehow push it and then put your finger in pull it pull it taking it off is also a little difficult what's the difference between the two well safety wise no difference double d ring is just as safe as a micrometric again basing all of this on ec standards and certifications both of them are safe for you to wear the difference comes in how difficult or how, how difficult double d rings are to use or how long it takes for you to put on the double d ring straps why should you care right i mean both are safe so shouldn't you go for micrometrics i would argue otherwise now when i started riding i gravitated towards micrometric because it was just so easy to use you know i i take off my helmet a lot of times when i'm out on a ride even if i have to drink water i have to take off my helmet the reason why i went with the double d ring for my second helmet was because i wanted to remove the biggest error that lies in riding motorcycles this not the head what's inside that your brain or my brain that is where the difference between the two retention straps comes into play a micrometric it's safe right but the problem is over over time a micrometric retention strap will start loosening up and since we are a bunch of lazy bastards we are not going to bother tightening it all the time right you'll say oh i'll tighten it again i just have i'm rushing right now i'll tighten it again and then you'll keep forgetting it until that strap is hanging over here instead of sitting flush with your neck what happens when you fall the strap comes like this and boom your helmet is gone yeah you might have spent 50000 rupees on a very expensive very nice helmet but if the strap does not sit over here that helmet is going to fly off so you just wasted 50000 rupees and broke your head on the other hand a double d ring helmet or a double d ring retention strap forces you to tighten it every single time okay every time you cannot put the strap on unless you tighten it and make sure the strap sits flush with your neck this is where the biggest difference lies this is why if you are a new biker and if you are serious and you know that you are lazy like me don't go for micrometrics go for a double d ring it's safe this is where double d rings become safe more safe or safer than micrometrics because it removes human error from the equation again don't let the straps hang on okay i know a lot of lazy bikers who like just don't bother putting on the straps they are like oh maine helmet pehna mai jayega nahi bhai tu aage jayega tu thokega tera sar jayega helmet hawa mein jayega theek hai so don't take that risk that's it that's the difference between the two there's nothing else to know about i'm not going i didn't go into the specifics of it because it honestly does not matter this is the basic difference of it the difference between a micrometric strap and a double d ring is human error with a micrometric strap there is always a chance of human error with a double d ring there is no chance of human error yeah that's it thank you guys for tuning in see you later